Orange, you glad that I'm making this tutorial today? Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today we're going to do a tutorial on the annoying orange effect. So let's jump right into Power Director 15 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 15 Ultimate. Before we get started, I want to remind all you guys to subscribe to Power Director University to get great tips and tricks like this every Saturday. Let's make it happen, people. Let's make it happen. As you can see, I have some clips in my timeline. I just have some clips on here to show you the structure of what things will look like when we're done. So I have a clip of the background. This is an orange. It could be video or a picture, doesn't matter. Then on the right, I have video clips of me talking. I filmed it kind of zoomed in just so that it'll make it easier to size things up later. So I have three clips here representing one for the left eye, one for the right eye, and one for the mouth. You don't have to have your clips laid out like this. I'm just doing it to show you why I have four clips and why at the end you're gonna have four distinct video clips that make up this composition to create the annoying orange effect. So let's get it cracking. You don't need to do anything to the orange. Just leave that clip alone, just have it in place. But when you import your clip of you talking, you need to have one clip underneath it for starters. And this one I'm gonna use for the left eye. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna to go to designer, and then I'm gonna to go to mask designer. Under mask designer, I'm gonna make sure that the mask tab is selected. And then I'm going to scroll until I find the oval shape, which is here. I'm gonna click on that, and it's gonna add it to the clip. And what happens is everything around the oval disappears and only things in the oval will be kept. The only thing I want in this oval to be kept is this eye. So I'm gonna place my cursor over one of these nodes until it turns into a line with two arrows that is diagonal. I'm gonna hold down my left mouse and I'm gonna drag it to one side of the eye. I'm gonna do the same thing with this part and drag this one up. I'm gonna keep doing that until I get it around the size that I want and the position that I want. And in here, I'm going to drag this one up and I think that's pretty good there. I'm going to leave it like that. The next thing I need to do is get a, rid of this sharpness. So it's real sharp around the oval. I want that to feather in so that it blends into the other video clip that is above it, which is the background of the orange. So I'm going to go here to feather radius. And I'm gonna move my feather radius up to eight. You may not like it that high. You may want it lower than that, it's up to you. Right now it's really feathered a lot and it looks like it's like, hey, you're getting rid of most of the eye. You'll see that when we make some color adjustments, it's going to still look really good. So it's up to you how you wanna feather it. You may have to come back to this later after you do your color adjustments to see how you wanna feather it. Next, I need to make some adjustments to the size and position of the eye. So if I place my cursor over the preview window, you see that it forms a crosshairs with four arrows. If I hold down my left mouse, I can move this and it'll move the eye to the position that I want. Now, what I recommend doing is changing the size of the eye first. So I'm going to place my cursor over one of these nodes until I see the diagonal line with two arrows and then I'm gonna hold on my left mouse and drag this out as far as it'll go. And it starts to scale up the size of the image. So I'm going to move this over to the left and down so I have more real estate to change the size. I can't see the eye right now, but I know that I'm changing the size of it. So I'm gonna place my cursor over the node again and drag this up. 
And now I'm going to drag the eye over to see if it's big enough for how I like it to be. It's pretty good. I like it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to drag this over and then I'm going to size it up again. And I'll move this back, see how I like that. I think that's pretty good for now. So I'm going to leave that where it is. Next thing I need to do is I need to change the color of the eye so that it matches the color of the orange. So I'm going to now go to Fix Enhance. And the first thing I'm going to go to is White Balance. So I'm going to check the box for White Balance. Now, before I go any further, I want to let you know that the changes I'm making to the color are for my skin tone. You may need to make different adjustments for the color temperature, um, the color adjustment, white balance, all that stuff. It's really going to depend on your own skin tone. So you may need to make some of the adjustments I'm making. Some of them you may not even need to make, or you may use different numbers. So it's up to what you see on the screen in front of you. Here are the adjustments that I made for my skin tone. So under white balance, I'm going to go to color temperature and I'm going to move the color temperature all the way up to 100. You can see it changes the temperature a little bit, makes it a little bit closer, a little bit more orange. It's not there yet. Then I'm going to click on the box next to color adjustment to change some color adjustments. The first thing I want to do is go to saturation and I'm going to turn the saturation all the way up to 200 and you see it gets a little bit more saturated closer to the red there. And the next thing I want to do is change the hue and I'm going to change that to 112. And you see it's getting even closer to where I, it looks really good with the orange. Not there yet for me because I can still see this line around here. So I know there's some color adjustment that still can be made to this in order to get it closer. So what I did to kind of nail it down was I changed my contrast and went all the way up to 100. And even though you can still see a little bit of a line, it's very much well blended at this point. So these are the adjustments that I use for my skin tone. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to close this out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same steps for the right eye and for the mouth. All right, so now I've made all the adjustments to all the layers and in front of your face, you can see the beauty that is the annoying orange. Now, I have this on a HD, full HD preview. So in order for you to see the end result, I'm going to change the display preview settings. Um, if I don't do that, then it's going to be real laggy. And the reason why is because each clip has a mask and each clip has color adjustments, white balance adjustment, and a lot of stuff for it to try to do and preview it to you. So I want to go up here to preferences. I'm going to go down to display. And here where it says preview quality, I'm going to change it from full HD to high preview resolution. So it'll downgrade the resolution of the preview a bit, but we'll be able to actually play it and see what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my space bar on my keyboard to play this. Orange, you glad that I'm making this tutorial today? And there... Orange, you glad that I'm making this tutorial today? Is the annoying orange in all of its glory. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, 
Sephir Chrome, Sephir Army. Sephir Chrome, Sephir Army makes YouTube videos on tutorials. So if you want to watch some tutorials on different software or anything under the sun, check out his channel, watch a few of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to get a shout out like Sephir Chrome, Sephir Army did, make sure that you go to our video description and fill out our shout out request form. Also, if you have any tutorials that you'd like to request, make sure that you go to our video description and fill out our tutorial request form, and then I'll make a decision on whether I will make that tutorial or not. Now that I've got that out of the way, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. Comments. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, make sure that you click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications whenever I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.